All right, folks, we will open up with uh, uh, initial comments from, from Coach Vashon. Amy? Yeah, so um, congrats to Ohio State. Uh, that's a really, really good team. Um, really proud of our team. Uh, I felt like we battled the entire game. Uh, you know, we had some turnovers, obviously. Um, not many teams don't have turnovers against that team, but I felt that we did a really nice job on doing the things we wanted to do. Um, you know, and, and I thought Liv Rockwood came out really on fire and hit some big shots for us. And, um, you know, Addie battling back from, from going down in the first half. And then I thought Ann just was Ann, you know, especially in that second half, just really made plays. So could not be prouder of our team, uh, the season that we've had, and the way we battled today. All right, we'll open up the floor for, uh, for questions. Front row, Colin. Hey, Amy. Um, I'm curious, when you see the kind of frenetic kind of defense that Ohio State brings, like, I guess what goes through, was that something you were expecting? What was kind of the game plan there to kind of make sure you could get the ball up the court? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we knew they were going to do it. I mean, they might be the best in the country at doing that. So, um, But, you know, it's one of those things that you, you can't really emulate, you know. Uh, you can't replicate it. Um, and so it's hard when it's the first time you face it. Uh, but I really thought we did a pretty good job against it. I mean, we had a couple of, you know, flurries there where we had a couple turnovers in a row. But for the majority of the game, I felt like we did a nice job breaking the press. I thought a lot of our turnovers were in the half court, you know, after we broke it, which isn't surprising. You know, they speed you up and you slow down. And um, But, I mean, I, I thought – you know, overall, I mean, I, I thought we played real. I mean, we shot 53% from the field, you know. Um, so, unfortunately, so did they. <laughs> so, um, but no, I thought I thought it was a good game. And obviously, I mean, winning is not, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty normal for you guys, 11 straight winning seasons. I mean, NCAA tournament may not be as normal. I'm, I'm curious what a performance like today does in terms of the, I guess, future growth of this program what, what what are you taking from yeah I mean I think we said it in the locker room that's the standard you know the standard is coming making to the NCAA tournament and we know it's difficult I mean we haven't been here for five years uh, we are fortunate to come two in a row and then we went on a little drought and we know how hard it is so we don't take that for granted um, but that's the standard and that's the goal every single year uh, to make the NCAA tournament and um, you know to compete like heck and to come back to help your team, to lead your team to an NCAA tournament. As, as you sit here, I guess, what are you thinking about in terms of what journey, like the journey that this team has been on over the course of this year? Yeah, I'm just so proud of this team. Um, this is, I've said it multiple times, this is why I came back for my fifth year, um, because I knew we could do it. And um, I'm just so proud of this team. What, uh, what about this team, I guess? How does it stand out? Like, what's kind of the, what should be the story of, what will you remember most about the story of this team? I think just believing and having the trust in each other. Um, we talked about it all season long coming in that this year was going to be special. Um, and we believed in it from the first game on and first practice. Um, we just came out and really emphasized on our defense. And everyone is just, everyone on the team is just willing to do whatever it takes for us to win. Um, there's players that don't see the court a lot, but they're doing an amazing job of preparing us um, in order to get the wins. And um, yeah, I'm just, everyone on this team is just really amazing and I couldn't be happier with everyone. Adriana, obviously this is, you know, you and Anne have kind of been the offense for this team or kind of had a, the ball in your hands quite a bit. I'm curious with another season to go for you with this being Ann's last game, I guess, what what have you learned playing next to Ann? And then what can you take, I guess, moving forward, heading into next year? Yeah, uh, I've learned a lot from playing with Ann, like a lot of what works for the offense, a lot of pace of game. and has been really experienced with all of that. And there have been a few times this year where I've had to dial back in and like know the game and like the pace that we're playing with and what's working and just also her leadership is a big part like that's something yeah we're losing her minutes on the court but also what she gives to us off the court so that's something that all of us that are going to be seniors and our grads are going to have to take over and really step up in but I'm so happy I got to play this full year with Ann because last year it was um she was fighting that ankle injury so yeah I've learned a lot and yeah I'm sad to watch her go but it's been good uh, Adriana, um, how's that? How's that ankle feeling? Speaking of ankle injuries, yeah, it's all right. 
It'll be good, yeah. Um, and going back to what Colin said, um, making the NCAA tournament, back to back player of the year in the America East, what does it mean to be playing at Maine four or five years? Like, what, is, what does Coach Amy mean? What do your teammates mean to you? Yeah, it means a lot. <laughs> um, I'm just so happy and so proud that I chose Maine. Um, just coming here freshman year, um, everyone was so welcome. I immediately felt love from everyone, from the coaches, from the teammates, and I can't thank them enough for everything they've done for me. Um, I wouldn't be in the position I am right now without any of them, and I'm just so thankful. Amy, obviously this is a national stage. I mean, you guys, you know, playing in front of millions of people. Um, what what did Maine show today? What, what is kind of the message that you guys sent with this performance today? Yeah, I mean, I think, um, well, first I, I, I said to our, our team in the locker room, I felt like all year this team, the way we played, um, the people they are, how they hold themselves, um, I think the state of Maine is really proud of them, you know, and I think the university is very proud of them. Um, they represent us so well in every facet. Um, I hope that when people see Maine, um, coaches, players, fans, um, that they see a team that's never going to give up, a team that just fights for everything, a team that's um, smart, you know, that plays really well together and that has each other's backs, you know, a team that loves each other um, through thick and thin. Um, you know, and, and trust me, there are good times and bad times. There are ups and downs. It's hard. It's a long season. But uh, I hope when they see the University of Maine that they know they're going to they're gonna have a fight on their hands, you know, um, and also, you know, have a, be able to cheer for that team too <laughs> because they're, they're just amazing young women. Amy, to be from Maine, to bring Maine to three NCAA tournaments and to kind of what you just said, do that for Maine, like what does this mean to you? Like a yeah. lot of us don't know, don't know anything about Maine women's yeah. basketball, but like <laughs> what does it mean for you? It's special, you know. Um, yeah, being from Maine, growing up in Maine, going to Maine, playing here. Um, never thought I'd be back coaching here, but um, the world works in mysterious ways, you know, and uh, being here and – being able to be around these young women every single day and, and represent our state and our university um, so well is incredibly special. Thank you guys for your time. Uh, Amy, what has having Ann on this team meant to the team and to the program? Ah, uh, yeah. Um, look, Ann, I've said it a couple times um, as the season has gone finished, you know, gone down, but Anne's going to leave the University of Maine as one of the best all-time players. She is. Um, and that's saying a lot because we've had a lot of really great players. Um, and, you know, it's it's her, her work ethic, her toughness. Like, she never takes a playoff. She never takes a day off. And that's just not on the court. Like, she is so um, dedicated to her teammates and the program and her coaches, and she represents us so well. She represents her family so well. She represents Luxembourg so well. Um, you know, it, it's incredible. And, you know, I mean, her and Anna, you know, they've had a long five years. It's been tough. And, I mean, I think it's really important for everyone here to know about Anna. Anna Kahalen has been playing with no ACL all year. She has no ACL. And that kid has been playing on no ACL all year long. And talk about tough. You know, um, her and Aunt Anne just epitomize everything our program stands for. Um, and when we found out she, she, you know, didn't have that ACL, her first question was, can I still play? <laughs> um, that just tells you what this class is. All right, I'm going to go to the Zoom. We've got a question from AB7, ABC7 Fox 22, if you can hear me. Great. Thank you very much. Go ahead. I'm sorry, I had to unmute myself for a second. Uh, hey, guys, it's uh, Ryan Sudol from Channel 7 back in Bangor. Um, you know, congratulations on a great season once again. Um, and, you know, with the emotion, uh, Coach Vashon, that, that Ann just showed and, you know, the positive atmosphere 
that seem that I seem to see every time I see you guys play practice. How does it feel that you have been able to at least play a little part in cultivating those types of emotions towards this team, that happiness to play for this team? Um, I mean, it, <laughs> I, I'm not going to take responsibility for that. Um, we have an amazing staff. We have an amazing group of young women in this locker room. And look, if uh, if those young women weren't in that locker room, I don't know if Anne would feel the same, <laughs> the same way. She may, but um, there are a lot of reasons for the way Anne feels. Um, I think. I mean, when you put your heart and soul into something, um, it 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 means a lot. So, what it means to me to see her, it, it means a lot. You know. Um, but it's not because of me. Um, it's because of our program and our university and our state and all the fans that we have and her teammates and, you know, all of that, that, you know, a lot of things go into that feeling, I think. Thank you. Today you talk about you know this team's toughness and you know they're uh, them battling and obviously we had a pretty scary moment there at the end of the first half and despite that you know Addy came out played her heart out and I just want to know you know from a coaching standpoint you know what you saw about the heart that she showed today. Yeah, um, not surprised by any means. Um, you know I went into halftime into that locker room and said to Coach Payton he told me she was going to get an X-ray and I said so she's done. He's like yeah probably. And then two minutes later, he said, well, she's going to brace up and try and go. <laughs> I said, OK. <laughs> um, so I'm not surprised. Addie is a warrior. Addie is, you know, it, a lot of people from the outside in might look at Addie and say, oh, she, all she wants to do is win. She does not care about anything, and she wants to do anything she can for her team to win. And if that would mean sit on the bench, she'd sit on the bench and cheer her butt off. Um, she doesn't care, and um, so I'm not surprised by any means, but it, it shows how tough that she is. Pardon me, I have one more. Uh, and, you know, I know you've talked a lot uh, in this press conference, you know, about just looking back, reflecting what this team's meant to you. Um, just when you get that, you know, final moment there at the end where you're coming off of the court you're for the final time, an immediate turn to the hugs from all of your team. Um, is there any way I can get you kind of, you know, walk me through in that moment, you know, what you're thinking? Yeah, um, I don't know. It was at first I, like, didn't realize it, but then obviously, like, I saw Coach Amy and I was like, okay, wait, this is the last time I'm coming off the court um, for Maine, and then it just hit me. Um, just seeing everyone and, and just being happy. Like, I, I mean, I know we lost, but I'm so proud of how we kept fighting in that game and never gave up. And then just coming off the court, um, just again, having this moment for one, one more time, um, just really happy, but also sad at the same time. And then just my, having my teammates and Anna um, to do it together, it's just, it was sad. Any other questions? And Adriana, Amy, thank you for your time. Thank you for your grace. Thank and you. congratulations on a multiple championship season.